are a Minnesota Viking. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chad Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, breaking down the signing of Aaron Jones heading to Minnesota in 2024 NFL free agency. This is broken down, or this is reported by Diana Russini as he is signing a one year, $7 million deal to stay in the NFC North and sign with the Minnesota Vikings. This was about eight hours after they signed Sam Darnold late last night, and we were breaking down the video here on the channel in the bathroom once again. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button because no matter if it's late night around midnight or if it's first thing in the morning around 8 a.m. and the Vikings are making moves, well, I'm going to make a video breaking it down. So if you guys want to help me out, uh, make me look good for my bosses as well. I really appreciate it. Just lock us in, hit that sub button. But let's start breaking this down. So Aaron Jones, the contract is a one-year, $7 million deal. And how did we get here with Aaron Jones being a free agent? So yesterday we got the report that obviously the Green Bay Packers were signing Josh Jacobs to a four-year, $48 million deal. And immediately when I heard that, I was just like, well, what are they going to do with Aaron Jones? And they obviously ended up releasing him and he was able to test the waters and test free agency. And less than probably about... 16 hours later from being released, he's signing with the Minnesota Vikings. I think this is a big time move because the Vikings run game the last two seasons. Uh, the first season under Kevin O'Connell, they were ranked 27th in the league. Last year, they were ranked 29th in the league, not averaging more than 100 yards of rushing in either of those two seasons. And I really do believe this. I think a lot of people, you know, if you have a poor run game or you have a, you know, poor rushing attack on offense, like they just automatically chop it up to, you know, the offensive line being bad because I just don't really, I just think that's an easy kind of scapegoat for most people. They'll just be like, oh, Vikings can't run the football. You know, a lot of that has to do with the offensive line. I actually think last season, I think the Vikings running backs outside of Ty Chandler and Cam Akers for a little bit were just terrible. Um... Was I thought Alexander Madison had a really rough year. He just didn't really have the same, you know, burst and, you know, explosion that he did when he was splitting carries with Dalvin Cook. Well, bringing in a guy like Aaron Jones, you have that explosion. You have that burst now in a running back. And I actually love the combination, combination of Aaron Jones and Ty Chandler in a backfield. They're kind of similar style backs. Obviously, Aaron Jones way, way better. He's more just you know, just more refined in his game. But, you know, I do think they are very similar backs. They have kind of this power element to them where they finish runs, kind of put their shoulder into you. But they also both have this kind of dual threat pass catching ability. They can make a man miss in open space or in open field. We obviously know that. And the thing I love the most about this man is, you know, let's just say, uh, whenever it may be, the Vikings are going to play the Packers twice next season. And the Packers pretty much told Aaron Jones, you are 29 years old. We want the younger version of you, and we are going to move off and sign Josh Jacobs. I'll tell you what. Aaron Jones on a one-year, $7 million deal, he is going to have the biggest chip on that shoulder. And I guarantee you, those two games against the Packers, especially that return to Lambeau Field, is going to be must-watch television. And now just thinking back as the Viking, or just thinking on the Vikings roster as a whole right now. Free agency is kind of starting to clear. Obviously, there'll be more signings, you know, later on today, tomorrow, and the next day. But it is just insane that the Vikings starting quarterback week one and running back is going to be Sam Darnold and Aaron Jones. NFL changes all the time. I mean, Aaron Jones is going to be RB1 now for the Vikings here for, you know, at least next season. He plays well. I can see him working himself into maybe a longer term deal. But overall, I think this is a great move by Kwesi. I think this is just, you know, Vikings need to do something with the rushing attack. And, you know, I think signing a guy like Aaron Jones will definitely help it because he was still great last season. Um, dating back to that Niners playoff game, I thought he was special. I thought he was special against the Cowboys when he had three touchdowns that actually killed him in Dallas in the playoffs last year. Um, Aaron Jones, he's just going to add more juice to this offense. And now you're looking at the Vikings offense real quick. Let's just take a broad view of the weapons. Aaron Jones, Justin Jefferson, Jordan Addison, and TJ Hawkinson. Vikings got some of the best weapons in the NFL. Sam Darnold, 
Can't wait to dive into him a little bit more. Also, that is what we're going to be doing as a video later on today. More in-depth on Sam Darnold. I'm going to be back in the studio at the Chat Sports office, and I'll have graphics, and I'll really dive into you know his tape and his more deeper analytics, and we'll uh, figure that out from there. But yeah, Aaron Jones signing with the Minnesota Vikings. Grade it for me down below in the comment section, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And now let's dive into some stats around Aaron Jones. So Aaron Jones, 2023 last year, was definitely his first, I would say, down year in the NFL. And uh, it was it was a good year. He had 142 carries, 656 yards, 4.6 yards per carry, and two touchdowns. And then dating back to 2022, he had 213 carries, 1,100 yards, 5.3 yards per carry, which was incredible. And then two touchdowns 2021 171 carries 800 yards 4.7 yards per carry with four tds and then also 2022 or 2020 he had 201 carries 1100 yards 5.5 yards per carry and nine touchdowns overall aaron jones has been productive throughout his nfl career and obviously he's going to be a big boost to this vikings offense as a whole and i do want to get to this point if the Vikings, and I still believe they're going to, they are going to draft the or draft a quarterback. I still really believe that. I think they're going to be aggressive and going and getting one. This is a perfect kind of backbone for a rookie quarterback to come into. I have already talked about. I think the Vikings are an ideal landing spot for whatever quarterback it may be, whether it's a guy in free agency or a guy in the draft. Because you just think about it, like if personally. If I was a quarterback and I was looking at the landscape of the NFL, and obviously the NFC is weaker than the AFC, and then also um, you have Justin Jefferson, you have Jordan Addison, you have that safety blanket tight end in TJ Hawkinson. Obviously, he's going to have to work his way back here from injury. Um, Probably will be back around Thanksgiving time, but... You know, the Vikings have a ton of weapons. They got two bookend tackles. You got the young offensive head coach. And now you add in a pretty damn elite running back. I think the Vikings, like, I understand, like, after yesterday, people were saying, like, oh, it's going to be a long next couple of seasons. Like, you know, obviously losing Kirk Cousins hurts, and I get that. But I think the Vikings are trying to go, you know, this is where Kwesi's from, is trying to go the Niners route. Where it's like, we are going to build a stack rost- roster. We are going to get our quarterback all types of weapons. We are going to be strong on defense. And it really doesn't, I don't want to say it doesn't matter who's playing the quarterback position, but it's less important than another team who may not have the more complete roster around their guy. So overall, the signing to Sam Darnold, I gave it a B plus yesterday. I honestly want to change my grade to an A minus. Aaron Jones, A, B, C, D, or F. I'm going A+. Plus. I mean, this is just a home run signing by Kwesi. There's no negative to this deal. It's one year, $7 million. Let's just say it doesn't work out. Okay, who cares? Um, you know, you're getting your young quarterback or you're getting Sam Darnold a really good run game. Um, yeah, shout out to, shout out to Kwesi Adolfo-Menza. I think he's having a hell of a free agency right now. But guys, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Breaking down the Aaron Jones news here early in the morning. See you guys next time. As always, Skull Vikes.